Hey guys, um, today we're going to be installing American Modified pellets, and I just want to give a shout out to American Modified for sponsoring me. Alright, so if you have a duct spoiler like this, you're obviously going to have to take it off to access these lights right here. And before you even begin, you want to remove the trunk liner, which is held by, uh, I think, nine clips, maybe eight clips. I'm not too sure about that, but it should just pop right off their pop clips. So let me do that real quick. All right, so once I have taken off, or once you've taken off this, you should have nine clips. I used a pry tool, and I highly recommend getting extra clips because some of them will break. Um, it's just they're meant to break. I, I mean, they're not meant to break, but they're, they're going to break. So I took this off many times before um, to do extra work, and they have broke, so I used Amazon clips, and they work just as well. So... Next step, we're gonna remove these two bolts on each side, but just do one head. So once those clips are, once these screws are taken out, mine is already loosened because I pulled on a little bit, but you're gonna wanna pull out and then forward a little bit. So let me just get that off real quick. You can see right there. So that those two clips clip in those holes and that's about it. All right, so I've taken off this tail light and this is the new tail light. Looks pretty good. I just take the plastic off so it doesn't get in the way. But this is the stock headlight. I used VHC tint in the past to tint it. So it does, it worked out really well actually for the tail light. But, all right, so I'm gonna wire this up. One thing I forgot to add is that you need to take the bulbs out of the stock headlight. Just take the bulb out so I can just pop it out. Probably right, I might need two hands. This is the blinker, right like that. That way this plug, can fit into whatever the light. You flip this over, you can fit right into there. The package right there. And I'm gonna pull one out. And you'll see that there are two different connectors. You wanna connect them like this. And once those are connected together, I do recommend wrapping them in electro tape just so that extra protection against weather, but it's your choice. So when feeding this wire, this grommet right here, you can either make a hole or you can take it out and put it through, but I recommend taking a knife and just cutting a little slit and it's going to feed through and you're going to want to take off these couple push clips to access the grommet from behind. All right, now that I have access to the grommet, this is the grommet right here, I'm going to make a little puncture so that the wire can feed through it and I can snake it through this grommet. All right, so I just snaked it through. It's gonna catch right where this is. You can either pull it through or just leave it. I'm just gonna leave it so it's not much of a hassle. And then you're gonna put this, the tail lights on the same way you put them on. You're gonna snap them in and push. One thing I forgot to say, if you notice that I have this wire just leading up into red, yellow, green, or not green, dark gray and white, that's because it's for these. These are um, animated tail lights. So with a blinker, it just goes this way and brake light, it just brights. So that's why you see this extra wire. So don't worry about it if you don't have one. Um, I just tapped into it. I soldered it together and that was it. All right, and you can see I got the tail light on. It looks pretty clean. Um, the wire is still snaking through, which is really good. I'm gonna put in these bolts real quick and then I'll show you how to wire up into the second light right there. All right, so once these are screwed in, looks pretty good. Take a look, make sure everything works. We're gonna go in the front and make sure the tail lights work, meaning the brake, running light, blinker, and reverse light. just saw these work great um i cannot believe how much of a difference they are from stock it's unbelievable i love the animation in the beginning i highly recommend these all right so now we're on the step two which is this wire right here um i haven't taken off the duck bill yet and that's probably going to be an issue but i'll take it off in a second and we'll go from there but for this wire 
we're gonna want to zip tie using zip tie. We can zip tie it with, I'm gonna use three zip ties just for extra security. And then we're gonna come over here and we're gonna remove this bolt right here. As you can see, I took, I took it off. Obviously it's gonna need some cleaning before I put it back on. Um, as well as this, you wanna remove all the tape that's removed. You wanna take out that bolt I showed in the beginning. Let me just take this off, bugging me. Which is right here. And then it should just pull out. You might need a little bit of force. Uh, I've never taken this one out yet, so I'll let you know how this goes. All right, so what I actually did is I took this nut out using a 10 millimeter socket. I know it's hard to find. We always lose them, but it's, it's a 10 millimeter. So what I did, because this bolt is at an angle and because it's facing outwards towards you, and you didn't want you don't want to drop it here because you'll never you'll never see it again you'll never see it again so i put the socket in it and as it was about to fall out i put my trunk down and i let it fall into the socket so that that way i didn't lose it but once that's off we can remove this now it should just pop out i might be able to do it right now not too sure um now give me a second to figure it out and then i'll get back to you guys so I made a big mistake. You are supposed to take off these, the screw right here, but there's two right here you're supposed to take off as well. I was fighting with it for about maybe 10 minutes and I realized that these screws connected to the light. So once those are off, it should just pop off no problem. All right, so like I said, once these screws are out, there's one pop clip right there and it should just pull right out. But now you got this wire, which let me find it real quick, which is right here. This wire right here. You wanna undo this clip right here so that I don't know if I can do it on camera but we'll see yeah I don't think so but once that clip is out it's a little like the light connector and it should just pop right out just like that this came out nice and simple and the one the clip is still right here so I'll get back to you when I have the actual uh, end piece for one of these all right so here's the new one looks pretty good very clean i love the smoked look like i said it's it's amazing but the same way is going to happen you're going to want to sneak these two wires through i know the sock one had one and i'll show you why in a second why this one has two but you want to snake these wires in and then clip it in and i'll get back to you in a second all right, now that i got this all bolted down what i did realize for this bolt right here is that you will need a longer 10 millimeter rather than the normal smaller one because the bolt is a little bit longer and there's no actual push clip for this one it just snaps right on and you just have to bolt it down right away but for these clips now this one right here this little slot is for where is it this right here it's for this clip so it can snap back in but i can't seem to manage to get it out so let me try again and i'll get back to you guys so i've been trying for about 20 minutes now and i cannot get this clip out um, it's not really a problem because it just snaps right here. It stays in place. I think it keeps it from vibrating, but I'm just going to wrap it with electrical tape so it doesn't just keep rattling because my exhaust is super deep that it rattles everything basically in here. In my like the speakers, every time I'm in a low gear, it will just rattle the crap out of the car. So um, this is one thing that I wish I could get out, but I can't. So... Um, we'll just go without it, but let me clip these together and I'll get right back. All right, so with this clip, I actually just wrapped it on both sides for electrical tape holding the wire down because I couldn't find that clip for the trunk. But now we got this wire. So this wire is going to connect to... Oops, let me get it. This wire is going to connect to this. So let me see if I can actually do it on camera. I'm not too sure, but we'll see. Yeah, I'll, I'll get back to you guys in a second. This connected, um, we have all this extra wire, right? So we are actually gonna snake it from here, down along this, and then we're gonna tuck the rest behind this. I'm actually gonna zip tie the rest up and then tuck it so it's not just dangling all over there, but that's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna do that real quick and I'll show you guys what I did. All right, so I actually zip tied it from this to this there. I did it to the hose instead of like I did it to the hose instead of this because I don't want, I'd rather have it, the wires be pressing into the rubber hose, not rubber, plastic hose in the metal in case something happens. But I ended up zip tying it all the way down right here. And then I will be zip tying it probably to this, 
I don't I think this is the pull cable. I'm not too sure. Um sorry, this is the pull cable, but I'm not too sure what this is. Um and then I'll tuck it behind the liner. Alright, and you can see that I actually zip tied the wires together first so that it's not a bunch just laying around. And then I zip tied it to the hose so that there's not a lot of extra room for it to play. And then I'm gonna put these clips back on and we'll see how the end result is. And then you're just gonna do the exact same side or the exact same thing to the opposite side. Um, so yeah. And then I'll show you the finished product once I have this one on and the top one. And I'll also put the duckbill spoiler on so you see the full result. All right guys, so I finished the second tail light. So I did have some issues. Hang on. All right, so I'll fix that in a second. But I am having some issues with, or not anymore, but I did. The, you have to make sure the polarity is right for each light. I had some issues with this one, with the brake and reverse as well as this one with just the reverse. So you just gotta switch those around the opposite direction. Um, all right, so you just wanna clip them in. Um, instead of screwing them in, you wanna clip them in so that um, they don't, you don't need to do all that work, you just have to test them. But like I said, I did have some issues with the polarity, but everything in all, it looks pretty good so far. I'll get the duckbill loaded up, I'll put the cover back on, and we'll see what the end result is. All right, quick little update for you guys. I have an issue. So I guess with these taillights, my duck bill does not fit correctly. And I can't get it to actually stay down and I can't get the screws in from underneath because it doesn't fit correctly. So if you're planning to run a duck, all right, so I guess I'll be reaching out to American Modified to see if they recommend a spoiler that will actually fit this. I might have to go with, they call it like the type R wing, which I really don't want to do because I don't want to. Hey guys, sorry about that. Um, my GoPro had some issues, but um, with the duck spoiler, yeah, it doesn't really fit. And that's because of the shape of the lights. Oh, I'll show you where. So the shape of the lights up here, is kind of different. So until my new spoiler comes in, I actually blocked off these holes with like just gorilla tape double-sided tape so that when it rains just like this the rain it won't mess it up but overall the lights they look pretty good um, so I'll show you what they look like when I turn the car on and it has a little short animation in the beginning and that really sticks out so let me see if I can set up for you guys all right so what I'm gonna do is because it's not dark enough to for the animation to actually go off right now it goes, I'm not sure how it's supposed to go off or when, I don't know if it's supposed to be dark out or what, but it does it sometimes during the day. So I think I'm just messing with my settings a little bit. I turn these in, on and off all the time. So we're going to start the car and just run outside and see it. I think it looks pretty good. Uh, I'm not sure why this looks like it's flickering on camera. It's not, so I'm not sure why it's doing that, to be honest. That's weird, it's not doing it. Yeah, it's not doing it in person, so I'm not sure why it's doing it right now. I don't know if it's doing it, yeah, it's doing it on the other side too. So it's not actually flickering, I'm not, not too sure. But it will not do this when you have the headlights, or the taillights, sorry. So, they do look really good. I will give American Modified the benefit of the doubt and say their taillights are really good because I was skeptical in the beginning because it wasn't the style I was looking for, but I'm actually glad I went with this style because it's super simple. Um, it's I just love it. It's super simple, like I said. Uh, I wouldn't want anything else. I love the smoked look. It, the car already draws a lot of attention with the exhaust, with the wheels, with the wrap. Everything about this car draws attention, so I'm glad I had these taillights finally instead of the stock ones. So I just want to give a shout out to American Modified, and I'll do the other video about the, I forget what I said. I forget what I said earlier, but I'll do the other video in the upcoming videos with the install of the sub, 